<clears throat> I hope these messages find everyone in good health and good wealth and good spirits. This is your daily for May the 10th. Your daily for May 10th. Um, it's not in any particular area of life, nor is it in any particular or directed at any particular zodiac sign. It's just a daily message. Take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. There's plenty of other content here on the channel. All right. Sometimes these messages um, don't resonate at all the first time you watch them. Sometimes they may resonate one way and then resonate a completely different way. Um, the next time you watch it, further on down the line, remember the energy is fluid uh, and time is an illusion. So take that and put it however it applies to you. <clears throat> actually saw this deck three times. I did a pre-shuffle um, and saw it and then yeah anyway yeah there's a this two of water here you some of you need to kind of question with question yourself sit with yourself um, are you being saved are you looking for a savior do you catch yourself kind of always in that damsel in distress mode um, some of you very much, you know, have a, a, a good partnership that this person is willing to save you or this person has saved you or you feel comfortable and safe with this person. OK, others of you need to start looking at some things, you know, maybe why you're not finding this person, why you kind of always find your um, yourself in a situation where you may have to be saved or feel like you. Um, are needing to be saved or needing some sort of support to get out of a situation um, and is this person actually helping you saving you or are they hindering you enabling you keeping you down you notice in this card you can't really tell if she's asking for help from someone else or she's just flailing around maybe he's actually saving her maybe he's putting you know putting her back in the water maybe he's not maybe he's not you can't really tell it depending on your perception so for some of you i do get the feeling uh, very strongly that you kind of need to have that conversation with yourself and not necessarily just in um you know love so, you know the area of love it's gonna be the area of anything <clears throat> do you feel like you're always kind of finding yourself in a situation yeah with the two of earth here Again, do you feel like you're always kind of finding yourself in a situation? Okay. For many of you, you may have with, especially with this eight of water here, you may have realized some things about yourself recently that are calling you into balance. Okay. That are calling you um, into have these honest conversations with yourself and walk away from some things that you thought maybe looked one way or felt one way, or you thought you knew to be one way. And it turns out there's something completely different. Okay. Okay. Maybe you get the feeling like you're just kind of in the wrong place, the wrong time, but how many times, right? Like every time, every time you're in the wrong place, the wrong time, is it possible? And of course, not necessarily, this is a general reading and also, um, no shade, no shame, no judgment, but is it possible that you kind of put possibly, possibly for some of you put yourself in a situation that maybe you knew better. Okay. Maybe you knew better than to put yourself in that situation. Or maybe you kind of wanted to do something and hope that it went for the best there, you know, therefore, you know, not putting you in the worst case scenario of that situation. And then, but it always ends up being worst case scenario. <laughs> My little guy snoring behind me. He will not sleep in his own bed anymore, y'all. Night of fire. Yeah, I see that you're, you're not only realizing some things about yourself, but you are running away from it. So if this is, if your perception is that this person is actually drowning her, if she's running away from the monster and he's feeling violated in these cards, there's a decision that you've made to walk away from the situation and run for the hills. On the other hand, if this is the opposite of that perception, if this person is actually saving her and he just happens to be in the right place at the right time, and you know, this is something that he would not have encountered that he really wants to encounter, but maybe wouldn't have encountered it on on its own or on a regular basis I see you running towards that okay rushing towards that <clears throat> 
and then not even just a person, you know, in this could be a situation as well. Whichever one it is for you, you've got the world here. So it doesn't matter which way you're going. You're completing chapters and you're going to new heights. Like you are understanding and taking ownership of the fact that you're creating your reality, that you have been creating your reality all along. Okay, four of water at the bottom of the deck with the six of water here and the high priestess, okay, with the star. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which end of this you're landing on, whether you feel like you've been the victim or you feel like you've been this damsel in distress or whatever this is for you, it doesn't matter. Um, or you feel like you've met a, a person or a scenario or a business or a career that just matches you all the way. It doesn't matter. However this works for you, you're going towards it. If it's for you, away from it. If it's not for you and you're going to new heights, you're owning it. You're, I'm hearing you riding it till the wheels fall off, okay? With the four of water, the six of water, the high priestess, and the star, this is absolutely divine energy overall. The overall energy, I think, like, you were waiting for something that's meant... I think you've been waiting for, like, waiting for a sign, waiting for uh, something to drop, waiting for something to give, um, waiting for something possibly to come back from the past for some of you. If this is an existing relationship. It's possible, especially with this um, night of fire here, that it's possible that you were waiting for... Um, that you were waiting for someone to be passionate again or reignite their passion for you or at least um, see that. Okay. <clears throat> You're getting real comfortable with yourself, looking at yourself, um, getting real comfortable with your divine sensuality, with your divine presence, with your divine nature, with your divine gifts, okay? Um, and yeah, th okay, there is a overall message that has kind of been coming through for quite some, um, quite some time where people are finally getting to know themselves again. It looks like they feel, they felt like they were in a place for a specific reason. They thought they were there. They thought they had it all. They thought they knew what was going on. Turns out they really didn't. And so they're getting to know themselves again. Okay. And they've realized some things that maybe didn't sit all the way comfortable. Okay. It's possible if you've seen a situation that was meant for you, you know, business relationship doesn't matter. If you've seen a situation that was, um, that was meant for you, <clears throat> over here maybe you had a tendency to always run from that or or sabotage it you know before or leave it before it could leave you you know um that's also a possibility here but i see you rushing back towards what you know is yours and doing it with confidence okay i see you doing this with confidence because you know that it's coming from your highest good okay you know that it's coming from the highest um divinity also, again, you know, you're letting think you're letting things go that are absolutely not meant for you, that are absolutely hopeless. And you're starting to expect and respect. It's coming through expect and respect. Um, I'm sorry for the AC coming on. I thought I had turned it off, y'all. Um, you're starting to expect and respect the uh the currency right the current of the energy the give and take of that situation okay it, as i'm looking at the six of earth here <clears throat> it is a will you're start yeah you're starting to dance again you're starting to sing again like somebody wakes up in the morning and they're just they're happy again something makes them really happy again there is a fear here though of this one saying like this for, for many of you this is sort of this self-sabotage energy, right? Like, it's weird, it's funny because I have this fear. I watched a movie when I was little. Um, probably shouldn't have been watching it, whatever. You know, we do things. And uh, this lady was in the shower and there was this homeless guy that, I actually just talked about this that, not that long ago. There was this homeless guy that sneaks in, he breaks in the house and um, he's like eating chicken or something. I don't even know if he's a man or a monster. I can't remember, like my child, like mine, Honestly, can't remember, but I just know like he was a bad guy and he was really scary looking. His nails were all gross and he had these like cut off these finger, these gloves with the fingers cut off and he was just like, ew, he was so freaking disgusting, but he walks in there and she, he can see her in the shower and she can't see him. And so ever since then, I've had this weird fear. Like I have this weird, like 
yeah, it's like a fear or a, a phobia or whatever of being in the shower. Um, I'm constantly looking out the curtain because I think there's going to be somebody in there. Like, what if I don't hear somebody come in the bathroom or what if I don't hear somebody open the door or whatever uh, or break in the house or I don't know. It's just this weird fear that it's left me with my whole life. Like still to this day, um, there are certain things I cannot do. Like I can't um, get into water that I cannot see the bottom of and I can't um, get in the shower without peeking um, outside of the curtain like three or four times throughout the shower. Um, and have been known to shower with the curtain open or with um, <laughs> sheer or clear curtains or glass, okay? So, but it's all a fear, it's all a figment. It's not, it's not necessarily really there. So I do feel like this is some sort of, um, repressed or something that's stemming back from a long time ago, bringing up this fear or this overactive imagination or these phobias or whatever this may be for you, um, that kind of has a tendency to sabotage many situations, um, in your life. Okay. With the six of air and the eight of air here, yeah, I feel like these, the things that I just mentioned, just irrational fears. Some fears are rational and some are not. And these seem to be irrational fears. Um, even someone may, I'm feeling like someone may even be scared of being successful overall. Okay. I'm feeling like someone may be scared of just being successful overall because once they've reached that height of success, they feel like they're going to drop the, the ball is going to drop or they're going to drop the ball and they're not going to be able to achieve anything after that, or they won't be able to perform, um, to satisfactory after that. Maybe they believe that once they reach it, they won't be able to keep it up. Um, or they won't, it, yeah, I'm seeing someone like, if I do that, that's my best. And then what do I have after that? Like, no, you have more, you always have more to give. We're switching angles. We're switching gears. But what I'm seeing here is someone who's scared to like walk through that door. They're, they're really fearful to get out of their own head. They're having a lot of trouble doing this. This has been, so if you are in the middle of this or towards the end of this, this has been quite the task for you to let these things go. This didn't, this was no easy feat. Let me tell you, this has been a lot. And now it's possible that you're even scared. You made the wrong decision. Like, wow. Okay. So I did that. I made that choice. I regained balance or I cut that out or I cut that off or I walked away from it or I walked towards it or whatever. Did I mess up? Did I make the wrong decision? Was that probably, you know, possibly not, not okay. And then you got the nine of water here. No, I, f I see that you are working towards something so beautiful. Okay. It's, it's, it's hard work. Let's, let's say that it's hard work. Okay. Night of earth, slowest, slowest in the deck. And it's, you see like those of us that ride like, okay. How do I say this without offending anybody? If you work with horses, then, you know, <clears throat> there's a few different ways or several different ways, right? Some people like this, this chick is super classy. Okay. This is not the way that I grew up with horses. Now I did compete, uh, sometimes against girls who grew up in a couple of boys, but mainly girls that grew up in this way with horses. These are people that have a lot of money. Okay. These are people that they, I don't know how else to say it. It's a status thing. They have a lot of money, right? They pay for either they take riding lessons and if they don't, then they actually own the horses and they give the riding lessons. Okay. So this type of person, and then you have those of us that grew up on a ranch, like our horses are used for work. Um, they're used as part of a cop, right? Like my mom was mounted patrol. Um, we use them as therapy for disabled kids. We did that. Um, we, we, uh, they are, we use them to rope. We use them to herd cattle. We use them to like, we use them as tools versus show. Okay. So here you have her in a, in an attire that is for show. It's very, um, it's very proper. Okay. You're not, you're not going to be wearing this and doing anything other than showing competing, which is a form of showing, um, or maybe hunting fox. Okay. I don't know. That's like, that's what this is attire. Maybe just joy riding also, but you wouldn't be on just like, first of all, you would never be on this in this attire riding a Mustang. Okay. Because that's not that level of horse. Right. So 
there's something about this that is um, having to do with status and the way that people see you or the way that you want to be seen okay there's something about going from that blue collar to that white collar there's something there's something about leveling up here <clears throat> I feel like you're the one standing in your own way though whatever it is if it's a relationship you kind of have this energy of like oh that person's out of my league or um, uh, well, for whatever reason you know or if it's a job it's like yeah I could never do that or it, it, it like again like I said this is saying so much to me this this card this um, night of earth is saying so much to me it's like just putting a big bow on this entire reading as to what is going on with the level of status blue collar to white collar and then yeah but it's all a fear it's all a fear overall i'm seeing you definitely have the strength and now we're getting the two of swords with the ten of earth okay yeah it, you have the strength to do this and you have the decision to make to put this um in your corner and and i mean ultimately look at her does she look worried about anything no totally business totally savage totally content reading her book chilling you know independent and this is also for men too it's a lot obviously women in the deck but it doesn't mean <clears throat> that i'm talking to just women but yeah i mean she she has all of the power in her reality and the ten of pentacles is where you want to be right in the deck as far as a three-dimensional um status level i guess you could say <clears throat> yeah overall i would say just get out of your own way that's really all i have to say i feel like you're deceiving yourself here you're deceiving yourself if this could happen a lot faster be very careful of what you're manifesting around this time um, because you want to make sure that it is what you want because I feel like when it does come it comes super super fast there could be a lot holding you down here a lot pinning you down a lot um, where maybe you're too like maybe you're floating too much maybe you don't feel like you're standing on solid ground um, maybe you feel like too many people are looking at you maybe you're purposely getting people to look at you be very careful in this energy because once this um, hits the ground it hits the ground running so you need to make sure that you're manifesting in this space what it is you actually um, want to be manifesting in this space because it is going to take off so quickly okay so I want you to be ready for that that's what I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this reading um, if so let me know in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>